Good morning guys. January 29th. It's Wednesday. We're gonna go back and start on the south line again. I uh, been getting a lot of calls about my merchandise and people not understanding. It's $20 a shirt, $30 a hat, and if you're in Canada I can send it COD or else add $20 for postage and handling. I uh, will put my address at the end of the uh, video. Make sure you include your shirt size and make sure your address is correct, okay? All right, let's get out there and get something rolling here. Well, we're in the lower crown, guys. Ooh, something stinks. I had one of my subscribers who was a friend on Facebook call me and ask me if I thought the pellets were scarring the coyotes out at that cow bait. Well, not being an idiot, I know he meant pellets scaring coyotes. So I answered him and said I wouldn't do that if I thought that. Huh, look at that. Not a great catch. But boy, that's another great big raccoon, all right. He's stiff. Knocked that one down. So I uh, thought it was all done, because I answered him. Nope, wanted to backstab me, so he went on my videos and asked the same question. So I just deleted him off Facebook and Deleted his comment and then he comes back on saying the truth hurts I guess and It's not even that it's that If you're gonna backstab me why the hell would you I let you be a friend like Some guy that catches like less than two dozen coyotes a winner is gonna tell me how to trap There's pallets laying all over around that cow There's not a tree for 400 yards, but bring in drags like ridiculous so that's what that's all about. I, uh, not answering any more his comments or anything. He's a backstabber, so that's all I'm going to say about it. All right, we're going to make this up. I never saw this one back here. I tried seeing it, but no, it's still standing there. All right, get that mouse out of there and that raccoon and make that back up and keep moving forward. Well, this big bugger didn't even trip the ram. Look at that. He just got all twisted around, jumping around this tree and choked himself off, so. I gotta go back to the sled and get the wire cutters. I'll never get them out of there without, so. Alrighty. And just a quick look at the remake, guys. Looking good. Maybe we'll get a dog next time. I set that one back up too. Back door there. Looks like he hit that coming through. I don't know why he hit this one. He walked all the way around it and came through this way. Oh well. Let's go see if we can get a dog. Man, it's so light out here. I can't see what I'm shooting at. There we go. I think that's him. He was just laying down there, but he decided to get up. He's just walking into the bush. Wonder if he's the one standing on my uh, deer kill there. I tucked the weasel box in here. Little bugger can't seem to stay off that rabbit in there, so. Uh, that one uh, box on the uh, tree over here, it was uh, on the angle there. I slid a rat trap in there. It's at a hell of an angle, but I butted up against the bait, so maybe next time we'll have them instead of having them snap the bait off in the trap. 
Put a couple more sticks around here. My buddy Jim Henderson caught a lynx yesterday. Looks like a beautiful cat, so. Uh, there's no way I'll keep pace with them, but I mean, if I can get one, I'll be happy out here. All right, uh, we'll get a couple snares on the way to the lake there, so we'll check those out and we'll just keep moving forward. I brought some bait into this cross, but like you normal, I don't need it. I'm gonna throw it in anyway and We'll get out to that gray bush. There's nothing in here today, just one raccoon. And well, a couple of mice, but we don't count those. They are just bait. All right, we'll get this made up and hit the highway. Huh, what do we got here? like a dog oh, what happened here set off looks like a weasel and there's still weasel here I guess so huh yeah that's a dog all right I see some further I don't know if you can see that I'll get really close but doesn't look like he was caught or anything it's not fired or nothing but huh it's only like minus six out so whatever that would be like 33 or 33 23 degrees Fahrenheit 24 degrees Fahrenheit something like that so it's really nice out we'll make this uh, back up and not back up I'm thinking maybe move it but because he definitely knows it's there. I could put it in there where it's tight. Ah, uh, we'll see. We got more in here to check too, so. I will get back to you. Well, we got a smart bugger in here. Reach right in, set the traps off. brought another weasel in here to rebait. I'm gonna skunk fire. I see mink tracks down the side, but that's definitely not mink back here. Might be a raccoon again, I don't know. It rained last night a little bit, so windshield on the sled, my car windows are all iced up, but I, man, I don't know, mink or not. I don't think a mink would get out of there with that jaw spread there, but a weasel might. Oh well, we'll remake it and hope he screws up. Well, he come out of that culvert and went this way. I see him floating on some of it there. And that snow is not hard, so Man, I don't know. All the footprints filled in. That one that's not filled in is a big round one like a cat though. Huh. I don't have permission to trap there, but. Huh. Maybe you have to put a 330 box in this culvert for him. Oh well, let's get moving. Well, we're back at the Tom and Kim bush. I can't see anything from here, but that don't mean anything. That big bait, we hit a double here last night, but not the kind of double I was looking for. Oh well, we'll remake it. I uh, I have no love loss for those buggers. They like to pick holes more than the uh, ravens do. Supposed to be one of the smartest birds, but 
Yeah, I don't know. I'm not seeing it today. Yeah, I'll remake them. What the heck? I'll get in here. I'll let you, uh, I'll turn you back on if anything's happening. It's kind of a uh, yucky day. All the snares I got frost or frozen with the rain and I got to break the bases out on them. If, even if they get caught, they can't pull the buggers over. All right. Let's see what's happening in here. Well, nothing touched these first five again and And deja vu, this is getting kind of, kind of creepy, but at least we got a weasel in there. That's three checks in a row. We've had nothing in the first five and a weasel. Let's have a look at you. Oh, you're a nice one. You're kind of bent right over and don't look that big, but yeah, you're a good sized weasel. Okay. Like I say, you can't make a dollar, make a dime. I'm not really seeing any dog tracks today again. It's supposed to be single digits all week and then I think Monday is going down to minus 24 and that's probably a pretty darn good temperature to get the dogs moving. Just uh, hopefully there won't be a 30 or 40 mile an hour wind because that really bites and blows all at once. Okay, I'm going to uh, make this back up. I just skunk bird it two days ago, so he don't need it again. Okay, we made these up again. Pulled that one back just a little bit. And same here, just a little bit back. Try and keep the birds out of it. Left the blood and everything, and the birds. I know I got a uh, great horned owl here that likes to come and pick these magpies up, so I try to keep them far enough away from the trap. I'll move them again here back farther. And uh, let him have them, or her, whatever, big bird. Okay, we'll get over those culverts. I got a uh, stop and cut a drag. I want to put a, uh, a number four bridger at that culvert for the dogs that's walking up there and smelling that all right we got our box in there all made back up another fresh weasel carcass and uh skunk fire on a q-tip i did a little bit of a fence job here and we got a number four bridger in there wired off to here pretty long drag i got it on this end so that it digs in all the way so, a little bit of a stepping stick here to step right into that bridger. Maybe we'll catch that dog sleeping here, so can always try and hope, I guess. Well, it looks like we're depending on Sawyer's Cross to bail us out again with a dog today, so it has done it many times before, and let's just hope it can do it today. I'll see you guys over there. You guys that have been with me for a while will remember that I like to uh, throw pieces of meat out here at Sawyer's Cross on the road. Nothing major, nothing really huge. Because they like to pick it up and hit the bush and the quickest way to the bush is right into my snares. So that's enough. I'll take the rest for next time. Kick this around a bit. All right, let's check our snares here. Oh, lots of, lots of deer and the deer switched. Couple of them jumped it. All right. One more around today. I don't see it. Well, I see something much better than seeing the ram. Oh, yeah. Hey, you. Man, you're a nice big dog. Sorry about the KOD, but 
all customers get it. Well, if you can take two in the end of the beak like that without flinching, you're my new hero. I tied off to that log, see? You got around a couple of trees. I am not concerned at all, but I want to get him out of here and have a look. That looks like a really, really beautiful dog, so I'll be right with you guys. And just like that, we're right back in the game, ready for the next one. What can I say about Sawyer's Cross? It's an amazing place for me. Not like I was going to get skunked or anything, but I didn't have a dog. Now I do. And it's a beautiful one. Nice and white belly. Beautiful, beautiful dog. Such long guard hair on him. Well, we'll pick up, uh, get him back to the sleigh. Then we'll come back and get our tomahawk and our bait. That's pretty awesome. Sawyer's cross is banging again. What do you think, Sawyer? Think you had anything to do with that? Because you have such a, a cool name, that's why it is. Loving it, man. All right, I'll uh, load this up and we'll get moving home. Apparently somebody wants to talk to me on the phone. While well, we're back at the house, guys, I wanted to show you something about these dogs here. Let's see if I can get my shadow in there. Every one of these dogs has got some black in them. This one we caught the other day has no black at all. And I'll flip them. Nice and white. That's a money dog, that one. And you might think that's a big male, but that was a female. And she's almost six feet tall, too, to the end of the tail to her nose. It's a raccoon. I got him upside down. He's down near dry. That one's mine. This one. So dark, look how black that thing is. Beautiful coon and heavy. I guess I should be saying raccoon, so you guys say raccoon too because they'll just cancel your comments. But yeah, that is a dark raccoon. And like I said, heavy, heavy. This dog today, pretty, boy that shadow. I have 200 watt light bulbs down here, so, cause I like to see when I'm skinning. But look how white that is. It's a beautiful dog also. Shiny, shiny silvery dog. White belly. And then, that's not a uh, belt line, that's where the two, 120 hit him. And the weasel from today. I got a few of them I did up last night, or two nights ago I guess with that dog. I still got a bunch in the uh, deep freeze, three or four of them. I've had Lance and Jeff, Darren, and a whole bunch of guys asking about TNT gear. And I keep forgetting to put my address on and everything. So, pretty simple. Send me uh, whatever you want, the size. Make sure you have your size of your t-shirt. And uh, the correct address is a big thing too. Make sure you do that and uh, we'll get you your TNT gear out. I'm not really good at marketing myself, but we'll, uh, we'll give it a shot and see if we can uh, get everybody the gear that wants gear. Uh, I'll put the address on right at the end, and I'm thinking this could be the end right now. We'll see you guys Friday. Keep moving forward.